Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph and today I am going to be prepping my Aritzia cart with you guys for the Aritzia clientele sale. Now, as of filming, I still don't know exact dates yet, but there are a ton of rumors flying around that for Canada, the start date is going to be the 17th, which is kind of where I estimated it would be in my FYI on the sale that kind of went out on the 11th. And I, I don't know about the US, I'm so sorry guys, there is just in general a lot more information about Canada. Um, because we Canadians have been shopping the sale and shopping at Aritzia a little bit longer so I feel like we're a little bit more familiar and for us for a really really long time it was a very very like personalized process almost um you would have to go in store they would look you up they'd hand you a card like somebody would you know talk to you you would get personal calls and stuff from your sales associates and all that so we, I think we're just a little bit like, we've just been doing it a little bit longer. If there is news about the US, I'm assuming the US is either gonna be on the 15th or the 19th, something like that. It's usually a couple days apart, so nothing to worry about. If you wanna see more details about the sale, I have a full video about it, but to give you guys just a really quick debrief if you're just here for the clothes and not the sale facts. Um, Aritzia has a biannual sale once in the fall, now around Black Friday, and once in the spring, and it is a store-wide sale, so everything like new in, clearance, all of that goes on sale. Deeper discounts go all the way up to 50% off, but in-season, regularly priced merchandise would typically be about 20% off, with the exception of a Super Puff, which is going to be 10% off. Only for clientele, Super Puff does not usually go on sale in either the spring clientele or for Black Friday. The sale does open to the public after Black, after like for Black Friday and Cyber Monday sort of time frame. So just keep that in mind. And then there's going to be another sale for Boxing Week. But just so you know, um, it's not... It's more like for those of us who are like really keen on getting inventory, but if you want to know more about how to qualify and everything like that, I talk more about that in the video. I have a couple of videos and blog posts over the years chronicling this, so if you are interested to see in how my thoughts or the information that I have or how like dates and discounts and stuff have changed, you guys can go always and check those out. But we're going to hop into my cart because I want to get going. So I'm gonna screen record and I'm gonna talk to you guys and we're gonna try and zip through this so it's not like a 50 jillion minute video. I have emptied my cart out. I think I got a hot spot my... <laughs> okay, anyways, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pop over to my list and I think the list is more valuable for me than anything else just because really early on in the season I went through and I cataloged everything that I was really interested in so I'm just gonna this is like a I'm gonna pull everything I am potentially interested in I really want like a nice gray sweater but I'm thinking I don't know I don't know okay I'm gonna do how many white sweaters can a girl own is going to be the real question at the end of this video today. So the first thing I'm adding in is the Lux Cashmere Crew sweater. I really wanted the gray, but it's sold out. Really me is like between like beige tones, white and gray sweaters. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna find me there. I'll see like I have so much stuff in here, but I'm like, I'm not really feeling it this year. That's like the issue. I kind of like this, this marled oak beige, let's see, size small, I like it in this oak beige color, I also really like the grey, but I don't think that this is going to be really something that I'm going to reach for multiple times, let's see if there's any like related products in that grey color, ooh, there's a bronco sweater, okay, yeah, this is like a vibe, but I wonder if the regular bronco sweater, we're not going to click through, are we? 
I still don't know how, I, I don't know. I think I just like it in the turtleneck and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that right now. Um, I like the Maria sweater. Maybe they'll have the Maria sweater in gray. And if you're wondering, this is very much my process where like, let's see, black, let's see what the cashmere core collection limited edition. Let's see, whisper white. Heather Gold, Pretty Beige, Brace Merino, and Brace Merino. I think I was on, let's see what Brace Merino is like. Oh, this is like a little bit lighter. See, they now have like core collection colors and limited edition collection colors. Oh, it kind of just bothers me. <laughs> Especially because the core collection colors are like white and black, like not white, like, why not white, black, beige, and gray, or like navy and gray, or you know, like it's just like everything is white and black, and then all of the limited edition colors are even like neutrals and stuff. <sighs> it stresses me out for some reason. All right, we're gonna move on from that sweater for a minute because I don't really want to do this. Okay, this uh, Wilfred Dance dress. Um, small, and we're gonna go in gray. Really, I've been feeling gray. I think everybody's been feeling gray this year, so that is something I don't know. So, so easily influenced. Okay, here's a gray sweater the group by Babbitton Fog Sweater. It's $148. Let's see what it says. It is merino wool. It's got that nice kind of cable knit. Okay, I'm gonna add this for now. Oh no, it's all sold out. Oh, good. Good, good, good. See, like the gray is completely sold out, but the white is, I'm oh, sorry, the matte pearl is in stock. And I'm like, guys, stop buying all the gray stuff. Ugh. It's always the case where like in theory, I do in my heart of hearts know that if I, there is something that I really, really want, um, I should have just bought it before, like before the sale, like earlier in the season, but I didn't. And now of course I'm sitting here like, do I have regrets? Maybe, ooh, okay, okay, so here we go. Here's, here's the thing. I am thinking, I don't, I don't know. So I'm thinking about getting some stuff for my, boyfriend's sisters for Christmas I yeah so I, I'm not we'll we'll not talk about that right now <laughs> um so anyways I I really like this sweater this Peggy sweater I'm holding it so close to my face sorry I don't really like that color let's see admiral rich mocha brown okay so another thing about me is I don't gravitate towards um I don't gravitate towards black sweaters weirdly enough I really like white sweaters I really like gray sweaters I really like grayish beige sweaters like that whole shebang um however I don't like black sweaters but then when it comes to nighttime I don't have any black sweaters and then I'm like what like why did I do that to myself anyways I just I I prefer a white sweater I don't know why can somebody explain this to me? maybe because it's like so dark all the time but anyways yeah so we're, I'm gonna get this I'm gonna add this in the um crew neck cable knit wool sweater I don't know what 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 the the big the big cable the big preppy cable I add that so now I have it in ribbed in gray and the big cable this is the Peggy sweater I wonder what the other like chunky rib okay so I got it in chunky rib preppy cable so I got major cable there's sweet cable oh my gosh this is so cute Oh my god, the pink is adorable. 
but I don't think I want I don't think I want pink. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, maybe not. Okay, let's do a crush jersey. Let's see what crush jersey is. Okay, so this is like a classic. I think I'm gonna say no to this um, because it is a little too. Oh no, wait, that one comes in a waist. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe we're gonna do this. That's not a waist. That is cropped. Let's not, let's not lie here. Okay, anyways, crop sweaters. Crop sweaters are kind of my vibe, but kind of not my vibe. So anyways, I've added a couple and let's check in on the cart right now. So we have um, the Major Cable Peggy sweater, the Chunky Rib Peggy sweater, the Dance Dress, the Doris Turtleneck, and the Luxe Cashmere Crew. We're already at $900. This is gonna get edited, I think, many a time, but we're just doing the ultimate high-end wish list. Next thing is I have a couple pieces already open, so I'm going to just quickly add in the ones that I was interested in. So the first is the Brink Merino Wool Long Sleeve. If you guys have seen my actual picks, you guys will kind of know that I'm thinking about these sorts of ones. So then the next is the Trailhead Zip Up. This is a knit fleece um, mock neck mid-layer. I'm kind of, I don't know, we'll, we'll see about this. The merino wool, I'm really interested in. This, this like Britannia bomber, I don't know what it is about this bomber jacket, but like nobody else's bomber is as good in my opinion as this. So this is like, this is a high priority. I don't know actually if it's high priority. I don't really need another. You guys are gonna die, so like camera die. So that's gonna be great, one second. The next is, I'm trying to switch the colors here. Okay, while well, this loads, okay, we've loaded. I'm, I'm gonna also add in the Limber Merino Wool Tank. Actually, I'm gonna add it in black. And I'm gonna switch the battery around. Okay, so I just added that in, in black. The Maria sweater, see, this is what I, like, why I was holding off on kind of the white, because I feel like Oh yeah, this is the one that I was kind of like complaining that there wasn't. Anyways, I'm gonna add this in white because it's like a hip length. I'm sorry, so like a little bit higher and it's not as tunicky as the Peggy sweater. Okay, I've already added you. See, okay, see, I like to know what I want. This is on sale, so it's already it looks like thirty percent off, um, and it looks like it's going to kind of dip further down. I'm gonna add in. Is this the black that has it? No, let's see. I don't know what color. Let's add white. I have a ton of mullein things. I'm gonna add a small. Um, this is the Snow Polar Oversized Zip Hoodie. I have it like the cropped like zip. I really like it. This is gonna go already further on sale. And I'm kind of mid on that right now. I don't wanna add it. I'm trying to. This, I really like this. We're gonna add a small, there's so many like three left, whatever. And I'm like, okay, those are just things. Um, there are so many items already that are like running out of stock. And I'm like, why is it running out of stock? Clientele has not started yet. And there's always the risk with clientele stuff that if it sells out before, sometimes they very purposefully let the inventory run down um on like really popular items so that they don't and then they don't restock it in time for the sale so that it's like not going on sale that's always a possibility but honestly if that happens like it was not meant to be and do not get sucked into the like last one left oh my god because they usually do tend to restock things right beforehand or release a whole bunch of new stuff that you're gonna like just as much anyways for the most part so don't stress if you really 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 like something and think you can't live without it it's gonna be make or break in your wardrobe which for most of us the items are not gonna be make or break in our wardrobes I would really recommend just waiting and seeing if it restocks okay I'm now here at the 
what do you call it? I'm, I'm at the new arrivals. It looks like Peplum is coming back. The fold down off the shoulder is back and it looks like Peplum is coming back. I personally, as adorable as I think Peplum is, just cannot for the life of me really like justify it always. So I don't know. I feel like it gets, it becomes dated very quickly. I really like these pants. Ooh, this is why I like look through the new one. Okay, so these are satin pants and I know that silk pants are kind of a thing right now. I personally don't think I'm gonna get these. As fun as I think they are, I would rather A, if I was gonna get this, um, I'd rather get silk, even though silk is harder to take care of. Satin is like, I'm personally, satin is equally annoying to take actually no i don't know i think silk is definitely harder to take care of in terms of like wrinkles and all that sort of stuff and you have to worry about water spots but satin you also have to worry about water spots and it's kind of difficult to like yeah to get around i don't know okay i'm gonna add it in and i'm gonna i'm gonna think on it i'm gonna think on a lot of things in this card are gonna think about Ooh, this Babbitton dress is so cute, but I truly I don't need a ton of like work wear. I just really want to like round out my sweater collection. And because in doing my like I hate my wardrobe series, I have really found that I only reach for certain sweaters. And it's really important to me to like like get almost like get more of what I want to wear not too much more but like get more of what I want to wear that's why I've added so many like of one type of sweater into my thing like into my cart and then I'm gonna go through and I'll probably only buy like one cream sweater and one gray sweater to be honest I just don't feel like I need too too much more but I'm just adding in everything right now so that I can see it all easily compared side by side um and I'm also like very cognizant of the fact that there are things from other companies that I want and I'm trying to not put all of my eggs in the Aritzia basket per se, even though it is so easy for me to do that, you know? I love Aritzia stuff. Okay, I like that, but I'm not... Okay, maybe this. The Wilfred Ursa turtleneck. The issue is a lot of these sweaters are styled with... Yeah. A lot of these sweaters are styled with, like, skirts and tights. And so I love how they look because obviously with, like, a like mini skirt or, like, a tighter skirt and tights and stuff, it looks really sleek, but... I actually personally wear a lot more denim than they are showcasing things with and because of that I really don't want to like I don't want to get something that's too long that is like made to sit with skirts in mind and then I want to wear it with high-waisted jeans and then I like you know tuck my jeans in and like all of this sort of stuff so I want to just be cognizant of that do I get a vest? I have a linen, I have two linen vests, but like I could definitely, I don't know. Cause here's the other thing, for like Christmas, I could wear a vest and oh, this one is sexy. I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna add in a size four, add this bag. My bag is now, oh, this is, this is too much stuff in my bag, I think. I think I gotta really, really think about think about this. Um, I think really like the first thing that's gonna be on the chopping block are those pants, and maybe the bomber because I don't need another jacket at the moment. I really well, I need an I need a rain jacket, but I don't really need like a fun wool jacket. Okay. I think you know what that really like tickles my brain. There there are other things I want like from obviously from Aritzia, but in terms of like covering my bases of this, I think maybe something I might cut is this dress and the 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 Doris turtleneck. We'll see. 
but that is kind of my cart for right now it's egregious at the moment in terms of price i don't i definitely don't think i'm gonna put all of this through but i wanted to kind of like show you guys my process and everything like that and then i will be going through and editing this and you guys will see the final edits through the hauls and stuff but i want to just build a cart with you guys and kind of take you guys through like how i kind of go about shopping effectively it's like a shop with me but that is kind of everything i really hope you guys excuse me i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video